Well, we have no good news for you today. Go figure. Cue the fire. But we have U.S. generals are saying that we are going to be at war with China. Well, clocks are ticking in less than two years. I mean, even Secretary of State Mike Pompetto is saying things are going to get horrific. But in today's video, we're looking at the yield curve, which actually might not signal a recession. Yes, we have breaking news out of Canada. That is what Skylar just told me. So you're going to have to wait on that, buddy. And uh, yesterday, you guys got all, all excited when I when every time I wear my, my wife's jacket. So, okay. All right. We'll put another one on for you today in today's video. Filming from Texas where it's 20 below. Actually, it's only about five degrees uh, colder here than it was in California where I live. So it's not even that bad. But I only come bearing black short sleeve t-shirts. But breaking news, U.S. four-star general warns of war with China in 2025. Ooh, nice. I like your, uh, I like your jet there, Lieutenant. Very nice. Crew members signal an F-A-18E Super Hornet fighter jet preparing to take off. And I was in the Air Force, not the Navy, but I am very familiar with jets, although I never flew one. I just drove around in a police car and wrote people tickets. I know, I'm sorry. Actually, I wrote very few because I did not like the paperwork. I just liked it when girls cried. And I'm like, okay, I'll see you at the bar. A four-star US Air Force general said in a memo that his gut told him the United States would fight China in the next two years. Yeah, more like two weeks. Comments that Pentagon officials said were not consistent with Amer with American military assessments. And he goes on to say, I hope I'm wrong. But the truth is, are we in an election year this year? No, okay. So next year. See, if you're ever commander in chief, eh, go to war. You, you're a shoe in If you don't believe me, believe Mike Pompetto. Yep, uh, Pompetto's highlights threats from China after Air Force General. See, once one's like, okay, can we say it? Okay, we can say it. All right, yeah, we're going to war. Air Force General predicts war by 2025. All right, gives a little bit more room there, Mike, uh, than the general, because he's probably selling a book. Oh, he is. And shocker, Mike's brand new book for, just came out 2024, like January 24th, 23. Kind of figured that one, right? Never give an inch. I, I know how that goes. I tell my wife after 50, that's about all you're gonna get. Though, and just in case you wanna know how much he's making on that uh, on that book, currently, monthly, $59,000. And if you're like, how do you have this software? I, it's in my Amazon course. And also for all of you that email me, so this is not specifically at anyone because you're like, oh my gosh, he called me out on the channel. Okay. Guys, email usually starts off with, Bravo, I'm down on my luck. I lost my job. I used to make six figures. I used to be a multimillionaire. Yada, 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 all the way down. I'm thinking about starting that Amazon business that you were telling me about. My suggestion is no. If you are currently living in your friend's basement or your mom's basement, okay? No, you need to hustle like never before, get as many jobs as humanly possible, get lots of money coming in, working 24 hours a day, and then start your side hustles. But before you do that, stop drinking alcohol. Because if you're above the age of 30 and you drink alcohol today, you're not gonna feel good tomorrow, you're not gonna work out tomorrow, and you're not gonna be productive tomorrow. And if you're like, I don't know, I, I can't stop, do the audiobook of this. Trust me on this one or read it. And no, I will not leave an affiliate link, which they give me, but a light bulb will go off and you'll go, oh gosh. Also, I just wanna let you know, I don't wanna be a hypocrite. I will let you know, I do consume adult beverages, but I think beforehand, okay, so I'm not gonna be productive tomorrow, all these things, okay, I'm not gonna work out. Can I do it? And then I usually go, uh, I can't. My friends are like, oh, what, you gotta work tomorrow? I'm like, yep, I work every day. And for those of you that are younger, you don't know what I feel like at my age after you drink. It is not good. See, you're just like, when you're young, oh my gosh, I just randomly clicked on because the one was a paperback. Uh, I want to see what this one, a 10 day alcohol detox uh, plan. Thank you, Lewis. Let's create one of these and see how much, how much you make in Lewis. Actually, one was Kindle. I couldn't find it, but I found this one just on the paper book. paperback. He's making 2,100. Now, 
if you currently have income coming in and you're considering a side hustle, like this was in my wife's shopping cart. I had to look at that. This sounds terrible. Kush, really? Oh, that can't be good. This guy only has five, five people have rated this. So on something like this, oh, I forgot. Uh, well, hold on. I'll just, so many squirrels in my head right now. I just want to know how much he's making before I tell you something. Uh, he's making $7,700. $44 every single month selling wax. And he's actually out of inventory. He only has three left, but I guess he'll have to make, oh my gosh, the website is boy, boys smell. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Boy smells. I don't know. Probably not a good website. But before I forget, 100 bucks for my Amazon course that almost killed me and people are emailing me. We're gonna bring that back. Once in a blue moon, I'm just like, whenever I go off on a rabbit trail or fall off of a branch, you get today. That That is it, grab it. And it goes right back up to four, 5,000, whatever, whatever how much I was doing it. Oh, and also legal disclaimer. It's not a legal disclaimer. It's my own disclaimer, starting businesses is very difficult. That's why I want you to get out of mom's basement. That's why I want you to get jobs. I need you to get income. And then you start your side hustles, your businesses, you grow them, trade equities, just stop putting the cart in front of the horse. But back to the doom and gloom, which you paid for, for free. My gut uh, tells me this is all over. I mean, you guys know it. It's just the cycles that we are in. Another good book, The Fourth Turning. Good. Good page turner. He has a new one coming out. Should probably have him on. Uh, fight in 2025. Top U.S. general predicts. And this is uh, General Mike Minahan. Actually, usually the uh, the generals that should be generals that aren't generals, that are only colonels because they won't let them rank up, those guys are the ones telling you the truth. Because what I have found is people in the Lokeness Army uh, can only get so high, right? And that's it. One of my buddies that I served with who has stripes up and down his arm, I can't even, it's like I could play the guitar with it. I always make fun of him. And the things he says, I'm like, come on, bro. Really, you do what? A cry room where? Although I cannot bag on him because I was in the educational system. We had the same thing. And I said, "Bye bye I quit. I cannot do this anymore when I get confronted by students on the daily. You couldn't even say, that when they ask you, where's the bathroom? You're like, Okay, this is what I need you to do. Okay, go uh, go straight, uh, make a left, it's on the left. And they're like, you offended me. I'm like, what part of the sentence offended you there, buttercup snowflake? Uh, you said, go straight, it's go forward. I said, you have to be fracking kidding me until the same thing keeps get repeated. I'm like, okay, I quit. I mean, even in the classroom, I would get emails because parents would change their son's name to girls' names and girls' names to boys' names. and. And I was like, I don't care. You could be a toaster. I have no dog in this fight. Would you like to buy a toaster or my new plastic thing on Amazon? No? Okay, moving on. Oh, it was horrific. But we have more Republicans coming out. Michael from Texas, hey, y'all, said that he believes a prediction made by a four-star Air Force General, Mike, which we just talked about, Mike, that the United States will go to war. I mean, these are like, they're, yeah, we're gonna do it. That's it, 2025. And then I say, that's okay. How do I make money from this? Because all these people get to make money from all this. Can I have a little bit? And yes, I will get to the stock market in just a second. But first, to how bad it is in the world, nearly nine in 10. Okay, let's just rephrase that. Let's just round up 100% of adults. See, when you ask them, it, this is how it works. 100% of adults think they're financially responsible. You're like, yes, I do. You take the test right now. Are you financially responsible? Of course I am. Yet 35% still rely on parents to pay the bills. And now you need to ask yourself, is mommy and daddy still paying for something? You're on a cell phone plan, you're on something? Right, is that unbelievable? That's uh, what, one third? Or more than one third, I just, I just counted it in my head. That's more than, can I round up to a half? Half of, uh, half of adults still re re rely on their parents. Oh my gosh, stop. So let's just repeat those steps again. Okay, get audiobook, read audiobook. Light bulb goes off, maybe I shouldn't drink alcohol. Oh, that's a good idea, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll become very productive, make a whole lot of money, start my businesses. 
Oh, then I don't have to be in mom's basement. And actually, shout out to Ninja for uh, showing me this one. This is what's happening in the world. Median income in uh, 2000, 32,000. What's it now? 35,000. Hasn't changed anything, but the price of everything has gone up. You're going to have to start businesses or work a hell of a lot harder. Oh, hey, bro. Sorry to cut in, buddy. I just didn't. I think you forgot about me, but uh, this is live from Canada. This is what the hell's going on. Why do I have, I sound like I'm from Texas, y'all. Um, when my son was teething, he used to like to take the big fat rubber end of my vibrating toothbrush and put it in his mouth on. Okay. And he'd just kind of sit there like, oh yeah, that feels good. That hit the spot. Hey, Skylar, that was inappropriate. You do not cut me off for something like that. And we have some breaking news. Here you are right now. US, this is un, look at this chart. Put this chart up on your wall. Just when people say everything's fine, the economy is strong as hell. I, I don't know who would say that. U.S. savings rate. Look at the difference between the two. U.S. savings rate, credit card debt. Do you see those uh, coming in the opposite direction? See, you want them to converge and diverge. So for everyone that thinks everything's really good, the stock market went up today. I say, yes, that's great. I hope you took advantage of it like I did, which I will get to in a second economies, okay, stock market, separate. Just like when we are in a recession, right? When the yield curve inverted and we we're in a recession. Ta-da, you got it. So you're fine. Also, two negative quarters. Recession. It doesn't matter. I'm still trading equities. Don't, how many times do I have to tell you this? Stop looking at the economy for the stock market. There's no correlation. And stop looking at your disposable income, personal income, which is like the lowest since the Great Depression. Huh? Do you see correlation causation? Look where we're at. It's no, no, it doesn't with the stock market and the economy. Correlation causation? Nope, not. Uh, disposable income, how you feel? Yes, you should be feeling terrible right now. And if you don't feel terrible right now, you will later, especially if you're not taking advantage of the stock market. So even if I jumping down and say yield curve, I'm still trading the spy. Economist says, his indicator that predicted eight recessions is wrong this year. Okay, which I actually put in a sizable trade on SPY. Okay, sizable trade. Why? Because I look at the charts. And if you want confirmation, so it was 39789 right there. See that little, see the yellow line? See we're above the 200? See we have a swing trade up? Huh? Look at all these plays that are happening. And I don't care what the news says, what Biden says, what Elon says. I put in a buy right there. We had a down day yesterday, but I've had one, two, three, four, five, six days up, one day down. I said I would be okay if S&P 500 comes down and retest that little yellow line just to confirm head higher. You drop below it, yeah, I would consider exiting. Then also, I don't want people to think like, Oh, you're always saying the market's going down. No, I don't. I tell you the economy's going down, the market goes up and the market goes down. Take advantage of that. Also, take advantage of the last day. Is this it of January? 70% off on how to do this. Look, you buy it here, which that was a little, er for me, I, I wanted a little bit more movement, but actually that would have been your swing right there. Those lines cross when they converge, when they diverge, you exit. And on the S&P 500, we still have strength up. I'm not seeing that. RSI, are you in this oversold area? Or I'm sorry, overbought, like right here? This is where you close your position. You get above that range. Here, I'll draw. I'll do a line for you, just, just so you can see it straight up. So you can go like, wow, you really do not know how to call the tops. Oh, well, you're you're very welcome. All right, so right there. Would you not say, and that was all, that's a confirmation. That's get the frack out. See those things uh, converge, diverge? Would you not say that that would be a good place to exit your position? I do. And right now we are not in that range. Also, my beginner course, that's a swing trade, okay? Start with that one. And if you want all of them that I ever talk about, it's 199, four payments, you get four courses. Crypto, swing trade, Amazon, and uh, bear market. That would be your swing trade right there. Boop, up, 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 close your position. Okay, retest, okay, comes back down. Write it, you got that one, up, 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 up. And I do this every day. I even have watch lists. I have bear market watch lists and I have bull market watch lists. And I actually try not to put anything that I talk about on the channel. 
I try to put what's in the bull and the bear off the channel. So it's like, oh, if you pay for them, you know, my daily, okay, it should be. But some things like S&P 500, it's like, come on. That's that's a no brainer. Uh, or if I talk about uh, something like natural gas, oh, goody, goody gumdrops, we're up uh, 2%. You ready to jump in yet? I don't know. Did the charts tell you to swing it? Actually, if you're thinking about, uh, you know, buying the bottom, poof, that's the bottom. It, but it could be more bottom, right? You never, you know, the chips in the dip, the tip, the dip in the tip just keeps on giving back. Uh, look, look, no, sorry, kids. <laughs> See the Bravo 9? That's that red line. You are a candle. You need to get said candle above red Bravo 9. But yes, you can dollar cost average. Go ahead. But you might be dollar cost averaging for another, you know, you might lose another 30%. And oh my gosh, I have so many more bad stories for you. But I think you get the picture. And I think you understand this entire system now, right? Okay. Everything bad. It doesn't matter. Stock market could be good. And don't, and don't touch my fence behind me. And I will see you tomorrow because I film every single day of my life because I love you and I don't have to. Well, I have to love you. I don't even have to do that either. But I choose to because you're so dang good looking. See you tomorrow.